All right, I've got a bone to pick. I was at church today talking to my friend Ryan, and uh, he wrote a book. And here it is. And he was going to, he had the opportunity to speak at a friend of ours' church, which is uh, in the area here in southeast Ohio, um, southwest Ohio. And we, apparently, he had the opportunity to speak and was going to go speak about the topic of his book that he wrote. Let's do it again. And it turns out that he was denied the opportunity because one of the elders of that church, or maybe the elder board, uh, approached him and informed him. They found out that he goes to North Star, which is uh, the church I go to, and I'm wearing their shirt because I served in the kids' ministry today. But uh, they know that North Star, as a church body, believes in um, that infants, when they're born, are born into sin. So as soon as they're born, they are they inherit the sinful nature, and as babies, they are therefore sinful. And so because North Star, as a church, believes this, um, they would not let him speak uh, at their church about this topic. And the topic is um, being a discipling in the workplace, which has nothing at all to do at all in any way, shape, or form with infants and sin. So I go to North Star, and I know the Bible does say, this book right here, the Bible does say, um, that we do pretty much inherit sin as babies and we're born into it. But I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if I really agree with that. Um, I know it's in the Bible. Um, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't really know how that would come to pass. I know we're created as babies to be in God's image, or I guess not necessarily as babies. When God created us, it was in his image and we were perfect and uh, sinless at that point. Then there's Adam and Eve and there's sin and we inherit... They're saying, I get that, I get that. Um, but when I held my kids, my, my, I've got three kids, and when I held them and they were little babies, you know, they don't make decisions at that point. Um, and in my mind, until you make a decision, you can't really sin because you're not disobeying anything, you're not breaking any laws. Um, so I don't really know that I agree uh, mentally, analytically, with that part of the Bible. Um, I, maybe that's blasphemy to say, and I go to North Star, maybe they'll, you know, unmember me or whatever that is. But, but here's the thing, I can summarize this in two words, right? three words. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Born in the sin, sin when you make a decision, maybe that's at six months, nine months, who cares? It's not important, you know? You believe that, I believe this, it's disputable. Who really gives a crap? It doesn't matter. If you call yourself a Christian, here's what a Christian is. And if you are a Christian, then you are my brother or my sister. If you believe that um, we do sin, be it at birth or when you first disobey your parents or poop your pants or something, I don't know. Um, when you first, you, you at some point in time, we all sin. We all break the law, we all make bad decisions, we all think bad thoughts, we all make mistakes, we all sin, okay? And then for that sin, we need a atonement in order to get to God, a bridge between us and that gap between us and God that sin creates. That bridge is Jesus. He is, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my video on the bunny suit, but... Um, if not, I encourage you to go back because I really like this metaphor that I, I kind of came up with or God gave me or whatever, but um, of God, Jesus being the bunny suit that we put on to get into the perfect realm of heaven where God exists. Um, and that's a long story. I'm not going to explain that here, but long story short is you need Jesus. If you believe in Jesus as the atonement for your mistakes, your sins of breaking God's law, um, then there you go, you're a Christian. As far as, um, there's more details than that. You know, there's resurrection and there's um, purification and other things, sanctification as you go along your path and, you know, digging roots and bearing fruit. But long story short, stupid things, like whether you believe in infant sins or is inheriting sin when they're born, the fact that a person or a church would be divided over that is what frustrates me about the Christian church.
about the church body, about the people of God that all follow the same Savior and the same God, but can't have community or collaboration because they disagree on stupid things that don't matter and they can't get over these stupid things um, and bridge that gap between themselves and other people. 